actually I'm here to do the Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, season seven, episode eighteen. Um, it was a boring episode, so that's why they comb my hair, that's why I put on no clothes. Y'all can get me like this today. Um, it was dumb. It started off with Nene and Dr. Jeff and her leaving. Who gave a fuck? I did, I was just like Candy. Why are you chasing her out of here? It's a lot of other girls in the room that need your help. Why are you chasing this hoe out of here? It, it don't matter. It don't matter. While he chasing her out, all the other girls are talking about Nene and why she get up and leave. And um, Portia felt like um, maybe she felt like she wasn't being heard. I was like, shut up. Shut up. Like I told a lot of people last time, if you look at the last episode, he told Nene, we're going to start with you first. So that's why I don't understand why she felt like it was attack Nene Day when he told her, and she was cool with it, that they were going to start with her first. Like, damn, bitch, can we get with you and then get down the line? Like, you didn't even let the damn session really get started before you took it the wrong way. But he wanted the ladies to get to a point where why do they feel, why do they perceive things a certain way? Um, maybe it was things in the past why they perceive things in a certain way. And yeah, it could be like that. Everything that you do, don't just be, people perceive things the way they want to. Regardless of what you say, how you act, people perceive things the way they want to. Um, maybe, and like they they start talking about being bullied and being rejected and all this kind of shit. And yeah, maybe so. You know, a person's being bullied all the time, all the time always going to be on defense. Um, a person always had to fight all their life, they're always going to be on defense. So, you know, all of them had a little story to tell about being bullied, and Portia was saying how she was bullied in her marriage, she was bullied in school. I'm like, girl, shut up. Um, that's how I really feel with Portia sometimes. I just really just want to say shut up the whole, every time she talks. But, okay. Um, Claudia was still on that being bullied because she was biracial. Shut up. Kenya still being rejected by her mom. Okay. Um, can't say shut up on that one because that one is a hard thing. Being bullied is a hard thing too, but like if you know you was bullied all your life or whatever in school, and then you get in it in this relationship, don't you see the signs of being bullied? Like, and then you study, you study, stay there. Because this motherfucker got money. I don't care what nobody say. Portia stayed with Cordell because he had money. And then when the show gave her her own fame, it was okay to leave Cordell. I, that's why I don't feel no kind of fucking way for her. Um, They talked about Portia and Kenya's past and all about the Miss USA, Miss America comment and the fighting, the reunion and the Puerto Rico trip. And it was dumb. It was dumb. Claudia felt, when he asked Claudia, Claudia felt like, well, I had something to say. Maybe I shouldn't have said it in front of the ladies, but I wanted some questions answered. I was like, girl, shut up being shady. Um, Kenya did semi, you know, apologize to Portia, but Dr. Jeff called her out on that shit and was like, um, you, because of what she was apologizing for, because she was like, I apologize if you feel attacked. And he was like, well, you did attack her. Regardless if it was with your words or with your fists, you did attack her. Like, just own up to your shit. If you're going to apologize, own up to your shit just as well. But I guess they all move past that. They all want to kiss makeup. Who cares? He brings up Phaedra. And Candy feels, and I feel the same way. If we have an issue, and you the only person know about that issue, we don't have an issue. You have an issue. Until we both know about it, and then, like, she felt like, I talked to Phaedra, and now Dr. Jeff know about the problem, Phaedra know about the problem, I mean, Portia know about it, Kenya know about it, so he has, she has a problem with everybody knowing about it but her, and she feel like she wants to know what Phaedra is saying about her that's making everybody feel a certain way. Okay, whatever, who cares. Then he was asking, how can we reach out to NeNe? Um, Kenya brought up uh, doing a video message, and I was here once again with Candy. That's like kissing her ass. Like, why are we doing this? And it's like kissing her ass. But they end up hugging it out, doing a video for her, sending it to her, whatever. I felt her. Like, I wouldn't have sent that bitch shit. She left. 
Now we are bonded. Now we kick this hoe out. Like, if she don't want to be a part of the group, that's going to be on her. That's how I would have felt. Like, but y'all going to keep letting this bitch be queen bitch. I'm just saying. So Nene is at home. She rehearsing about her Cinderella play. And then Greg, her little pet, that comes in. And they start talking about the play and how long she got. And, oh, it's a lot because the queen has a lot. Uh, more lines than anybody else. I'm like, bitch, now you shading everybody on your cast on Cinderella. <sighs> Whatever. So they talked about the Dr. Jeff session and how she felt attacked, and um, she did get the video message from Portia, but she don't, she ain't with that shit. She done. She can't do it no more. I'm like, bitch, we'll move on. We're. I'm telling you, it's a lot of people that watch Real Housewives of Atlanta will not miss Nene and her bullshit of antics. Like. No, I don't think a lot of people will. It is some Nene fans out there. But for the most part, Nene, you ran your course. Seven seasons, girl. You know, they say seven bad, you know, bad luck numbers. So, you know, just saying. You and ran your fucking course. Um, then she got mad because she said Portia and Candy didn't stick up for her. And I'm like, what were they supposed to say? Like, okay. Candy and Todd, they go shooting pool with Cynthia and Peter or whatever, and Cynthia brings up Dr. Jeff, why, I don't know, did y'all not have nothing else to talk about, did you always think it's okay to bring up shit, like, if you talked about it with your husband, cool, why, I didn't understand of this one, but okay, we're gonna talk about it, they talked about the thing, um, they talked about Nene getting into it with Dr. Jeff, they talked about Phaedra didn't come, and Phaedra having problems with, uh, homegirl, uh, Candy, and, Candy, like I said, Candy felt like she was the only one that didn't get the memo that Phaedra was mad. Who cares? Phaedra and T.D. Jake's daughter, Sarah, they uh, go to Phaedra's house, and she's being phony like forever. Like, all that lemonade and don't fall in the pool, I was just so over it. That, that's fake conversation to me. Um, Then they start talking about the girl Sarah's past, and I'm like, okay, she auditioning to be on The Real Housewives because I'm so like, why are we putting this girl storyline on blast? I didn't get it. Then you was going to be evasive with the story. I'm like, we don't, why are we talking about her past? We don't know who she is, what, who she married to, what, who she was, who she was married to. None of that. Okay, she was 14 when she had a baby. She had a messed up marriage and Phaedra wants to know how did she go through it and Phaedra started bashing Apollo once again. And talking about it's everyday madness. Um, they were always fighting. Um, and she never had no, she hasn't been having no friends by her side, but Nene. Oh my girl, boo. This whole conversation, I was just like, huh? Mm. Kenya's producing a show. Uh, the Life Pro Zone show. I didn't care. Cynthia, uh, Leon, Brandon, some other people. They were all at the table read. I didn't care. And even Leon shaded the shit out of Cynthia. was like, what is she going to do? Play my ex-wife? Like, I, when they did the table read, all that shit that they were doing, I was like, okay, maybe it's just me because none of this shit is funny to me. I don't know. Maybe I have to see the show as a whole. But none of the actors pump me up to want to see it. I'm just saying. But, hey, kudos to Kenya. You doing something. I can't be mad at you on that. Um... Claudia and Dr. Jeff, they have this little, uh, Skype session. I thought Claudia looked really cute on this Skype session. Her hair was cute. Everything else was cute. Um, but they talked about she wanted one-on-one -on -one counseling with him, and ain't nothing wrong with needing some help. Um, but then they start talking about the counseling session with all the ladies and how can they work with that. And I'm sitting there like, don't, it's supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one counseling. Like, can we get into this? Why are we going back to the counseling session with the ladies? Like, why are you having this conversation about the ladies and the ladies are not there, Dr. Jeff? I had a problem with that, but he said they need to go somewhere and work some shit out and go on a trip. And I'm like, they did that, whatever. But they're going to go. Um, Candy at, at her tag boutique and Kenya and Cynthia come in and they come go shopping and stuff like that. And Candy say that's, no, Kenya said that we have a new Cynthia and Candy was like, yeah, she she got with the new clique. She's with the new clique. And they was like, well, we don't want to seem like a clique or a gang. She was like, y'all are a gang. She was like, y'all the A's. Uh, the us. Kenya, Cynthia, Claudia. And then she said, and then you got the us. 
the, the Nene, Portia, and Phaedra. And I'm sitting there like, well, what side you belong, Candy? I'm just saying, I know you're most neutral and you be with both girls, but who's like, what side you belong? Because you bring it up talking about Nene them wasn't necessary. Um, then they show, because Kenya brings up the trip. And then they show a scene where Claudia and Portia met up and they talked about it and, you know, because they hugged it out at the low council session. So now they cool. And I'm like, why we didn't get to see this? This probably would have been made way juicier than a lot of the shit we did see. But they're going to uh, plan this trip to the Philippines or whatever. And Portia going to talk to her girls. Claudia going to talk to her girls. And then we're going to see if we can go on a trip together. And I'm like... See, this is the problem there. Y'all talking to y'all girls instead of everybody talking to each other. Like, that's where the problem is going to lie in on this trip. It's still going to be division. And I'm like this. If we're going on a trip, please don't invite people that have problems with other people. That way, I think the only people that should have been on that trip is the people that was in the counseling session. Because them the only people that worked out that issue. Um... I didn't care about nothing else. They did ask, did she talk to, is Nene and Phaedra going to go? She don't know. Um, have Candy talk to Phaedra? No. She ain't tried to reach out to her. She ain't tried to reach out to her. Okay. Phaedra is talking to her, an attorney or whatever. And um, they're talking about divorce in Apollo and what is her um, options or whatever. And the lady was like, you know, y'all can leave with what y'all came with before the marriage and during the marriage. You know, y'all leave financially, y'all gonna be okay. But the big issue is the kids. And you need to let the kids spend as much time as possible with Apollo. All of a sudden, Phaedra, her whole attitude changed. Her whole attitude changed when this lady recommended that these kids see their father. And then she was like, well, if I have time and I do this, I'm like, this is always the weekend them kids to see your baby. I'm quite sure all these weekends or all these times you've been going on a trip for faith, um, Candy, and all these trips that you're about to take to the Philippines, your kids can go see that damn daddy. Shut that shit down. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a product of a child. I mean, my parent being in jail, and I think I would have been more mad at my mom if she wouldn't have let us go spend time with my dad and get to know my dad and stuff like that. And try to keep us from, I would have been more pissed off. Maybe it's just me, but I'm just saying my opinion of a product child of per, of a person that was incarcerated. I mean, me and my dad had the best relationship in jail and out of jail. We just really did. I was daddy's girl in and out. So I think that would have been, I think it's beneficial for your child to know you regardless of where you at. You ain't six feet under, a child should know their parents. Let that child say, I don't want to mess with him no more. I don't want to mess with her no more. I just really think it's up to the child and not the parent because of your anger issues and how you feel about him. Um. So, like I said, she was mad or whatever. And then she started talking about all her hurt and pain and how he tried to attack her in the public judgment. Because the lady asked her, like, why did you marry him or something like that? And um, how did you marry him? And she was like, I thought he was a changed man, but then he was conning me. And I'm like, oh, here we go, this bullshit. I was like, you know, some minutes you just want to feel sorry for her because a lot of times abusive women do put on this facade of whatever, like of a happy home and stuff like that. But the way she just going about it is just all the way wrong. Maybe he was attacking her. Maybe he was me. Maybe he was abusive. It's just the way she is bringing this story out is just fucked up. All the way around. Don't care what nobody say. It's just fucked up. Um, That's my review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 7, Episode 18. Like I said, it really wasn't a good episode. Next week, we're going to see a lot more. We're going to see them in the Philippines. We're going to see a uh, Portia take a thought picture. I don't know who said it, but they did say it when they were taking pictures. Um, we did see that Kenya and Phaedra is going to finally sit down and have a talk that has been long overdue, and I guess they're going to make up. But we know somebody's going to be throwing some kind of comment in that little confession room about each other. And that's my thing about, before I end this, that's my thing about Nene. 
You want these this shit to work out with these ladies? You want things to go? And that's for all the, for all the girls. If y'all want y'all relationship to work and want to be cool and want to be friends, y'all going to have to stop with these goddamn confessionals or y'all going to have to stop with these damn Twitter. Because that's what keeps the beef going. It's not the shit that happens on the show. It's the shit that happens after the show. The confessionals and the tweets. And the interviews y'all do. Y'all shade each other and then smile on each other's face. I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway, like I said, that was my review. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Plus, Xbox Live, whatever. I do everything by the ghetto view. T-H-A, not T-H-E. And I'm telling y'all to follow me, subscribe. Check out Ashley Miller. D-Miss, C-Minted, Tam G, um, Forrest Rocks, Much Love from KY, we all do Real Housewives of Atlanta reviews, so check us all out, and we'll talk to you later, peace out.